What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against this uh, Puerto Rican clan, uh, PR, so Puerto Rican uh, war elite. Um, Fortunately, they weren't too elite with their war skills. Uh, they really struggled, these guys. Uh, only 63% total destruction. They didn't use uh, even close to all their attacks, but Invicta, or sorry, 2.0, rather, um, almost had a perfect war. We didn't uh, get the threes on their 11s, but we did three-star all their 10s. Uh, so this is kind of a TH10 special. Uh, we got a lot of newer Town Hall 10s, uh, namely South Fence and Dirty Italian, really stepping it up. Uh, really putting a lot of focus on learning the three-star strats at the Town Hall 10 game. Um, kind of trying to fill some gaps as uh, some of our um, older, uh, more wiser 10s like KNX, obviously, and, you know, Mr. Moose uh, are moving and progressing on to 11. Uh, so it's nice to see some of these guys stepping up and... Um, <laughs> really showing these tens what's up. Uh, we're gonna stop in, uh, start in, man, it's early. I need a sip of this coffee, here. Look at this. Once a princess, always a princess. That's me. <laughs> Tell us my mug. Um, but we're gonna start with the master himself, KNX, going in on this Town Hall 11. Um, really, only thing 11 about this base is uh, the eagle. <clears throat> uh, this guy doesn't even have a Grand Warden. Doesn't look like. No, he doesn't. It's crazy. So KNX opens it up. A little bit of a queen walk here from the 12 o'clock side. Opens up the wall because he's going to, he's already, that building's down. He's going to start progressing this, uh, this queen in here. Take out that air defense. Uh, gets really good value on this whole walk. You're going to see kind of how this plays out. <clears throat> Looking good. Air defense is down. Going to take out that cannon. A couple more defenses. Rage goes down to kind of keep that queen going. It's going to heal that queen right back up. She's just going to keep working her way around this ring. Taking out defenses. I believe she gets the queen here as well. As soon as she steps up past this cannon, here comes the queen. Yep. Bam's going to smack down that queen in a couple shots. Going to take out the CC troops using her ability. Down go the CC. See you later. Queen's going to continue on with her thing. Uh, he does have a king he's about to send in as well. He really wants to get to this next air defense because he only has uh, three Lava Hounds here in the bag. So he does need to get both of these air defense. Second rage goes down for this queen. Just getting insane value out of this queen. It's like 27% of the base, including the defensive archer queen, the CC troops, and two air defense. So beautiful job there, KNX drops a couple balloons, kind of gets the one for one trades on those archer towers while the um, while the queen is tanking. Uh, still has not sent in his king actually. Um, he did, oh sorry, he did at the six o'clock location there. I don't know if he was just doing a little bit of tanking for the uh, on those Teslas. Uh, but as you can see, everything's looking nice and pretty. Gets those freezes going down. His queen finally goes down, but she took out about forty percent of that base. She did a serious work. Three lava handles in, haste are down, rage is down, really just needs to get over this eagle, over top of that the stupid inferno tower. Boom, finally that sweeper goes down, you're going to stop giving them all those issues. Sweeper's going down, there's no air defense left, there's really an expo times two and a couple cannons, and it is GG for this guy. Rafa gets taken down hardcore by KNX, is special here. Nice seeing KNX do a little queen walk, he doesn't do that very often, he's just... Against those tens, he's accustomed to just suiciding his heroes in at an air defense and going to quad Lalo. But when you give him a ring like that and allow him to access to two air defense and the CC and the queen, it is see you later when you're dealing with the master. Nice job, KNX. Sexy tree. All right. Number five, KNX again. Taking down the legend. I think. KNX would have a little bit of an issue with this guy's name because, uh, in my opinion, KNX is the legend. <clears throat> He's taught me everything I know about TH10 three stars. So, watch what he does here. Drops a couple giants. Drops the uh, drops the Archer Queen to draw a little bit of fire from uh, some of that splash. The giants live a little bit longer. Goes ahead and drops the king. Lava Hound comes out nice and early. That doesn't matter. Uh, wizards are going to end up getting in there and popping it, I believe, because that queen's about to lock on as well. But king's going to go in and do the work. Rages it up. Takes down that defensive queen. Takes down that air defense. Classic KNX special right there. 
Uh, the only difference here, like I was saying, is this Lava Hound is about to burst, and usually on his attacks, he uh, his heroes are suicided before that CC before the Lava Hound even bursts. So doesn't matter though. Queen's gonna mop it up. Bump, 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 bump. Pops are all dead. <laughs> there must be a hole in the base right there. He tried dropping a couple loons there, I believe, for one for one trades. It didn't really work out, so he said, "You know what? Screw it. Here come the here come the Lava Hounds." Going in on that first one. Now that single target Inferno locking onto the Lava Hounds kind of turns into a bit of an issue at, at times just because it it melts through them once it gets going. But that haste, those the haste locations, uh, like look at that. It's like all his spells. Five haste and a rage go down all at the same time. Nice horseshoe all around the core and then the rage over the core. One more rage over that expo. One more rage over that. Like look at this. The whole base is pink or purple right now. That is just unbelievable just destroyed this base knx beautiful beautiful <coughs> excuse me recap juice it's too early for beer so i gotta have my coffee and i didn't get my timmy so i'll have to get it on the way to work i do have to go to work today so that kind of sucks but right so now that we've watched the master, let's check out these uh, new tens stepping up and showing us what they got. So this is definitely not your conventional uh, TH10 three-star strat, right? 23 hogs in the bag. I believe he's got four golems there. <clears throat> goes ahead and gets the lure. Uh, poison goes down. Going to drop another poison there to make sure the uh, CC, there it goes. Going to take care of all those CC troops, no problem. Just going to wait here, wait, 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 wait. Now, I believe his goal with this attack is uh, to send in the four golems and everything from the top section here. As long as he can take down the Inferno Towers. Yep, here we go. Uh, golems are going to go in. He's going to create a bit of a funnel. If he can get those Inferno Towers and basically, you know, this top little section of the base he can hog the rest of this. Look at this. There is no room in this bottom side at all for giant bombs. I mean, you could probably have some in there and in there, but otherwise that is it. So these 23 hogs are just going to have a heyday when he sends them in from the six o'clock spots. He might even actually send them in from nine and three and kind of force them down. Uh, I guess we'll kind of see how this plays out. I didn't get a chance to watch 100% of all these replays. So uh, let's just see how this plays out. Everything, like I said, is going nice and fun and dandy. Just really needs to take down those Inferno Towers. Queen goes for a bit of a height there. I don't understand that one. Um, the jump spell was right there, but she goes up and around instead for some reason. But uh, mission is almost accomplished. Just needs to take down that other Inferno Tower. As soon as this Queen kind of finishes fiddling around out there she's gonna finish it off yeah there he goes hits the ability gonna step in a couple more shots in that inferno down it goes and in come the 23 hogs yeah like i said nine and three going in he does have two heals so he's gonna drop the heal there and the heal there keep everything alive as it moves in towards these expos really the biggest threat now is these expos he needs to get in there uh keep in mind all the teslas are down see exactly where i said those bombs were and i had no clue um, so guys, when you're setting up your base, don't make it so obvious. Like this, these symmetrical bases do not work. <laughs> like dirty Italian just hogged the crap out of this town hall 10, just like it was nothing. Like you should not be able to hog a town hall 10. I'm sorry. You, you have the defenses, you have the bombs, the, <laughs> you set up your base like this you're just going to get trashed so as you can see one arch tower to go clean up time few hogs running around doing some work queen uh, is still doing uh clean up around this bottom location so that's looking good hogs in the middle now helping on that town hall clan castle is going to be pretty much the last structure remaining oh sorry that builder's hut and that's your tree stars in the bag sexy job dirty very nice attack buddy Okay, another new Town Hall 10 stepping up, showing us his stuff here. Uh, Seth has put in some serious work. His heroes were 30-30, not more than, I don't know, a week, week and a half ago. So he's putting in serious work on his heroes. And he does a little bit of a KNX special on this ring base, right? Goes ahead, sends in his heroes. He's just going to do a little bit of a hero swamp here. Suicide heroes, he really just wants to get the, the queen here and the air defense. So King goes in, locks right onto that queen. Bam, bam, bam. Down she goes. Air defense is going down, down it goes. Uh, queen is locked on a little Lava Hound, so that kind of sucks. Um, gonna have to wait a moment, make sure uh, if that Lava Hound bursts. Uh, that's kind of the thing, guys. You gotta judge this Suicide Hero. If the Queen is gonna burst the Lava Hound, you do have to delay your air attack. If your Queen's gonna die, 
before the balloons or, or lava hound are taken. Nice poison there too, self fence. Like precision placement there. Queen didn't even need a mop up. So you do have to wait though, because those pups could cause some serious problems if they get away and start locking onto your balloons. So something to think about when you're trying to triple these tents. So lava hounds are in on that three o'clock air defense. Couple balloons kind of going all around. Here come the horseshoe haste. Boom, 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 boom. Five haste are down. He's going to drop a freeze. Bam. And then another rage over the core. Everything's pushing into that core. Tesla's going down. Everything's moving right on top of this inferno tower under a rage. Beautiful one shot. It is down. Another freeze goes down. Take care of that backside inferno. Everything just pushing through this core. That rage is getting insane value in there. Boom. Second Inferno in the tower is now down. Really just has the Expo Air D Tesla on this side. You know, a Wiz Tower drops a backside balloon. Make sure that Arch Tower goes down nice and quickly. Looking good. Air Defense is down. Everything is down. There's an Archer Tower and really only a couple of crummy defenses remaining. Clean up time. Look at the pups all over the base. Self Fence, my boy. Just killed this. Very nice attack. Boom. It's three stars in the bag. Mm -mm -mm. and another one <laughs> dirty italian again <clears throat> they dirty so dirty self fence and knx all had six star wars um uh, well, knx had one against the town hall 11 so just unbelievable guys really nice work um Keep it up. We're going to need those in our range wars to, to come through with some victories here. Um, as you can see, everything's going in. A little bit of a queen walk from the 9 o'clock section. Has the CC drawn out. Has to kind of pop that rage, I think, a little earlier than he had wanted to. But everything's just just great. Uh, poison goes down. Help up the queen there. Has not burnt the ability yet. He really wants to try and conserve that ability. Going to continue to work the queen, I believe, down into uh, this section and wants to get this other air defense. Uh, so really long queen walk here. He needs to get huge value. <clears throat> so Expo is going to go down. She's going to continue to take a walk all the way down to the 6 o'clock. She ends up taking out that air defense, and then he sends in the remainder of his troops. Uh, does have three Lama Hounds, 19 balloons. Uh, only only opts for three haste this time because he does need to burn a rage on that queen walk, which is completely okay because she's getting insane value from this walk here. Cannon's going down. You can see, like I said, here goes that king. Going to open up that wall for the king. Let the king in at this defensive queen. Who's going to hop over this wall and suck the king in there right beside that air defense. One shot is all she needs to take. And here she goes. Of course, she ends up on that side of the wall. Like, give me a break. Doesn't matter because that queen's in there. She's going to help out in one moment. Boom, boom, boom. How often does that happen to you guys? Like, the queen clearly should have jumped over that wall when the question mark went over her head but for some reason she goes back and around and then jumps over this wall just dumb but doesn't matter works out nice and perfect for di here uh, getting still getting good value out of that walk finally she gets locked onto the infernos but look at that she even takes down two um teslas and the expo maybe not quite the expo but still so air air attack has commenced right going in on these uh on the air defense Takes out the first one very quickly. Rage goes down. Free, look at the value on that freeze. Gets the uh, two Infernos. Almost gets both Infernos. I believe if your Infernos are set like corner to corner on your Town Hall, I think both can be frozen with one freeze. Uh, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm very unexperienced with freezes since uh, I'm a Town Hall 9. Um, <laughs> but look at it. Inferno Tower, Arch Tower, remaining defenses. Clean up time. DI with the sexy six-star war, buddy. Nice job, man. Beautiful attack. Tree stars, bitch. And another one. <laughs> so what was that? Six, six, town hall 10, uh, three stars. South fence going in again. I mean, they're not the greatest, <laughs> you know, most max out town hall 10s, but guys, by no means. Is this easy to do? Like, it is not. So uh, let's take some practice. Uh, self fence and DI specifically have been putting in serious work, learning these strats, learning the deployment. Um, and it's paying off here because self brings another little bit of a queen walk. Adds that giant in. I thought that was really clever just to take a little bit of heat off of the queen while she works through the trash so she can lock on to uh, those point defense. Now, um, I know what I'm doing my super queens. I really try. I mean, maybe no, I don't use a giant, but... I will do that as well. If there's a lot of trash buildings the queen's got to work through while she's getting hit 
by a few point defense. I'll drop in some archers that I know purposely are going to get targeted for a few moments uh, by those defenses, allowing the queen time to get through the trash and lock onto the point defense because she doesn't, like I said, you know, three, four point defense on a queen is going to take her down. So you need to, to get a little creative and, and buy her some more time. So, But this walk's going fantastic, right? Huge piece of the base. Air defense has been taken out. He's about to go get another air defense. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. A uh, defensive queen who was, I think, outside of the base here for some reason, uh, gets swapped with the king. So queen's in there helping out. Uh, the healers are going in, helping heal back, that queen back up. Air, uh, air attack has now gone in. Sends in the Lava Hounds on that first air defense. Looking good. One, two, three. Keeps those haste nice and tight. So everything moving in here is going super quickly. Freeze goes down over the core. Gets a few balloons in under that rage. Looking good at this point. Second freeze goes down. Just misses that expo, but it's no big deal. Balloons are already in uh, in position. Take out that Inferno. Looking good. Bam. Down goes the Inferno. Really a few defenses on this side. Got to continue to move these balloons kind of in the clockwise rotation. Get on top of that sweeper. Look at that king in there with the healer still. King gets in there, starts beating on that expo just in time. Queen around the top, 12 o'clock section, still at full health with her ability. Just destroyed this base self-fence. Nice job, buddy. Beautiful attack. <laughs> just destroyed it. Curious to see what the time was on this one, even with that extended queen walk. Nice. Tree stars in the bag. All right, good war, Invicta. I'm not even going to bother showing these nines. You know, they had some really crummy bases. Um, not taking away anything from the boys. I mean, we cleared, I believe, the nines. Here's the thing. Here's how you allow your Town Hall 10s to practice and plan properly for these three-star hits. I believe it was only four hours into the war, and we had all but one of the Town Hall 9s cleared by Town Hall Nines. So that means all of our Town Hall 10 attacks uh, were able to not only have extra planning time, uh, but have the most attempts possible against these 10. So um, really just beautiful job, gentlemen, uh, all around, you know, nines, like I said, clearing the board on those, clearing the board on their nines within four hours in the war is absolutely insane. And it shows in the results, right? That's how you get six TH10 triples in a war. So. Too bad for Puerto Rico, War Elite. Uh, better luck next time, guys. <laughs> um, can't uh, can't do much, though, when you got uh, some sexy TH10 tree stars coming from guys like KNX, DI, and South Fence. So fantastic job, gentlemen. Hats off to everyone. Uh, Going to call it an afternoon. I got to go get ready for work, unfortunately. So that sucks. Uh, but I will be back tonight. And I believe we got another Invicta recap I'm working on. Um, some other kind of stuff. So hope you guys are enjoying the content, uh, trying to get caught up from everything after the holidays here. So that will do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.